The year is 2024. In the 2023 NFL season, the San Francisco 49ers beat the Jets in the Super Bowl, and Brock Purdy was named Super Bowl MVP. But that wasn't even the craziest thing that happened this year. After an abysmal 1-16 season, the Arizona Cardinals GM had had enough. He cut every single player from the Arizona Cardinals roster and sold the team to an Australian billionaire. And that is where we take this team over. We're gonna bring us Australia, their first ever Super Bowl, and we're starting from literal scratch. We have a zero overall team right now. We've got $142 million available in salary cap. The draft is coming up, and we do have round one pick one because we were so horrible. And it is the start of free agency. So to start building this team, we've got to convince some NFL players to move to Australia. Not gonna lie, free agency doesn't look that bad. Josh Allen, the number one prospect, he has no interest in going to Australia. There's 13 team's interested. Okay, he's probably not our guy. Super Bowl chase. The Black Knights are an underdog. That is an understatement. Who wants to play in Australia? Does anybody have interest? I'm going to start by sorting by age. Looks like Garrett Williams kind of wants to go to Australia. He's 22 years old and he's a 76 overall. Low key. I'm going to try and get my boy here. I'm going to try and give him a five-year deal. I mean, I need somebody, right? We can pick up our franchise kicker, Riley Patterson. Offer him a four-year deal. I'm going to sort by all the guys who actually actually would go to Australia to play ball. Marco Wilson. I would take Marco Wilson. Trying to get everybody on like a four or five year deal because this is going to be a long rebuild before Australia is even remotely competent. I'm not trying to sign anybody for two years. I don't even want any vets really, although we're going to need some just to win games. Connor Williams would be nice. He could definitely be my center for five years. Odell Beckham Jr. Are you serious? You want to play in Australia? I find that very difficult to believe. I would pick up Kirk Cousins low key, but I think I'm going to draft a quarterback. So that's going to be a no for now. I'm going to make Zayvon Collins an offer. I don't expect him to take it, but dude, he's 24. He's 79 overall. He's star dev. I'm going to give him a very player friendly deal. I'm even going to give him a little salary and bonus boost. It's a strong offer. I guess it just depends on the competition. So Marco Wilson. Marco Wilson is officially the first Black Knight. Connor Williams also signed. Garrett Williams also signed. Riley Patterson signed, so we've got a kicker. Matabuike signs to Pittsburgh Steelers. Gesicki, oh. Zayvon Collins did not want to move to Australia. He's headed to Detroit. Honestly, would not hate picking up Cam Akers. I'm actually going to take his salary down a bit, see if he still signs. Nobody wants to pay hatbacks, bro. Take the deal, Cam Akers. He took it. Oh, I underpaid his ass and he took it. Cam Akers is in Melbourne for five years. Okay, I need to look up that pronunciation. How do you pronounce? Because it's spelled Melbourne, but that is not how you pronounce it. It's pronounced Melbourne. Okay. Cam Akers is in Melbourne for five. Connor Williams is five. Garrett Williams is five. Marco Wilson is five. Honestly, just so we're not... Ah, I can't pay Leonard Williams that much money. I'm not giving you 12 mil. The amount of free agents who are actually interested is so criminally low. I've never seen so few players interested in a team. I shouldn't be shocked. We were not only horrible, but we're now in Australia. So it's not, it's really not a surprise. Okay. All right, Michael Wilson, you are moderately interested in this team. I'm going to give you a nice little bonus. Five-year deal. I don't know who else is looking at you. And Tommy Townsend, low key. You actually, this sounds so stupid, but you actually need a punter. I have done a lot of franchises where I forgot about punter. And then you watch them punt. And you go, holy shit, no wonder I'm losing games. Like the field position they gets insane out of that. Really should have taken Gillikin instead of him, but that's okay. That's about all the damage that I can realistically do in free agency. Now that we have at least a few players in Australia, we have to look at this draft class. Number one thing, I have the draft class strength set to normal for every position. That being said, this is one of the best quarterbacks I've ever seen. Cordell Wake. He's a top five projected quarterback. I have never seen so many A's. I mean, granted, I don't really draft at round one, pick one very often, but look at this dude. I will say there's a few solids in there. Solid speed, solid jumping, solid, really solid excel. But the only thing that really matters as far as physicals go for a quarterback is elite throw power. This guy is a monster. He has elite strength, just so unnecessary, but who cares? It's a strong arm quarterback. He, he might even have 99 throw power out the gates. I would be shocked if this guy is under a 76 overall. I have a game plan for the first round after that. I'm gonna see what's available, I suppose. Round one, pick one, goes to the Melbourne Black Knights. Um, It's Cordell Wake. If, if you're not hidden dev, I don't even know what to say. 96 throw power. The only reason I'm not crazy about that is every time I've drafted an absurd, insane superstar, 
They've always had 99 in a stat. Like Kyle LeBlanc was 99 speed, and I've drafted a 99 throw power quarterback before. So obviously Cordell Wake is amazing. Like he clearly has incredible stats. I wouldn't be shocked if he's star dev. That's all I'm saying. Next pick is round one pick 21. I do have an idea of who I want at round one pick 21. And I gotta hope that he's still available. Lots of good quarterbacks still available. This is a very strong quarterback class. This is who I want. I've been looking at him for a while. He's a USF tight end. Tight end is super important. If you run Kansas City Chiefs or Dallas Cowboys playbooks, I plan to run one of the two. I'm not sure which. They're super important. But dude, this guy's a dog. His physicals are great, great. Elite agility, good and excel in change of direction. Decent strength is not great, but in those playbooks, the tight end is a pass catcher. He's not a pass blocker. This is also the fastest tight end in the class. Fucking A's across the board. He has A deep route, A catching, A spectacular catch. This guy was born to catch the football. He's got a Shannon Sharp build. He's kind of a small tight end. 6'4", 238. He's a lefty. He's kind of fucking sick. I just need him to be hidden, Dev. And I think this is a good pick. Garland is hidden, Dev. Honestly, he's a little slower than I expected. 85 speed, 87 to sell, 87 agility. I don't know what I'm complaining about. This is an excellent vertical threat tight end. And he's at least star dev. Ooh, next pick is round two pick one. Honestly, I could trade it away, but I am badly gonna need offensive line and it's so hard to get offensive line in free agency. Sal Alvarado has elite strength. It's about the only thing I care about. Excellent stats. I'm going Sal Alvarado. Look at this guy, bro. You're telling me that's a 22 year old? It's like in Sandlot when he writes, I am 12 in crayon. 93 strength, 82 acceleration. This guy has been drinking cervezas since he was eight years old. Round three, pick one's up next. I kind of want a linebacker, but they're hard to come by. Antoine Culver has elite speed. Decent jumping and agility, great excel. He's very fast. Skills are bad though. I'm scared he's normal dev, but I do need a backer. I have zero backers on this team. I'm gonna take Antoine Culver. I'm a little worried that he's normal dev. Yeah, he is. Honestly, beggars can't be choosers, bro. I have no players on this team. He's our only backer right now. We also have round three pick two, which I was not aware of. These are round one quarterbacks that are still available in the third round. Honestly, I think it's worth drafting this as trade bait. Like if this is a hidden dev quarterback, he's gonna be worth a lot. A lot more than my round three pick two is worth. I'm gonna draft him. If this dude's... Fuck. That's why he's still sitting there. He's normal dev, Matt. You dumbass. Well, you know what? I guess... No, there's no there's no saving me from that pick. That was a horrible pick. We have a backup quarterback for literally no reason. Trent Tucker, run support safety out of Bama. Solid speed, elite strength, porch. Ugh. I can't tell if you're good or bad. Actually, his skills are decent. He's gonna be a decent overall. Hope he's hitting dev. I mean, it is a fourth round, but I'm so used to, honestly, I'm so used to drafting with the draft class strength on on uh, high that I'm just not used to whiffing. I'm not used to getting normal devs, but I need to get used to it. Terrence Gallimore must be a bust, dude. This guy has just been sitting here. Elite acceleration and poor strength. Good. A bizarre wide receiver. I'm gonna let you sit. I'm gonna take this center out of Michigan. He actually doesn't look bad at all. Round four, pick one. He's got a hidden dev center in it. As I do that, I did sign Connor Williams to a five-year deal, but Elliot Feldman easily could play guard. So my offensive line is looking better. Only problem is I'd say tackle is probably the most important position. Don't have a tackle right now. And there's no way I'm drafting a usable tackle in the fifth round. Jerry Richard. This guy has elite agility. He's got decent speed and jumping, marginal strength, solid excel. I'm willing to take him, even if pretty obviously not hidden dev. I just need guys. 82 speed, 87 excel. That's not bad at all for a middle linebacker. Honestly, we have a shocking amount of picks. I did not really realize how many picks the uh, Cardinals had, but they were a pretty good team for this. Just as far as value is concerned, Terrence Gallimore is still here, and we're in the end of the fifth round. This guy's F catching. Just at, it was so pitiful. Dude, he's not bad, though. All we just got to do is get his catching stats up. 92 speed, 97 excel, and he's 6'1". I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Every team can pass on him if they want. This is a absurdly crucial draft recap since it kind of determines our entire team. The moment of truth, baby, for the Black Knights. Oh, my God. Cordell Wake is an 81 overall. This guy's a fucking monster. I take it back, bro. I was saying he might not be generational. This guy is at least superstar. I've never never seen someone this high overall be a star. Holy shit. I thought, dude, I literally 100% thought he was a 76 overall. 81 speed, 85 excel. Dude, he's, at, he's already a fucking beast. He's like already better than Kirk Cousins. I was gonna sign Kirk Cousins. He's literally out the gates better. Also, Courtney Garland. I knew this guy was a stud. He had way too many elites in there to not be super good. Courtney Garland's a 77. That is still higher than I imagined too. A total wide receiver build though. I mean, 6'4", 238 is a very undersized tight end. We gotta, we gotta use Chiefs. Or we got to use Cowboys. Sal Alvarado 
is a 74 overall hidden dev. That's awesome. Culver, 68 overall normal. So not so great. Picking up Feldman in the fourth round is so fucking awesome. That was a really nice pick. Uh, Richard was horrible. Biggest whiff, 61 overall. I mean, I guess he has, he kind of has to start. I don't really have a choice. Kid's a 65. And then Gallimore's a 68. But that's fifth round, man. I can't be mad about that. He's 92. He's not bad. Overall, a very good draft. Let's see, um, let's see how it looked around the whole NFL. Sorted by overall. Best player in the class, baby. Best player in the class. Happened to be round one pick one, but he still is the best player in the class. Next best was a left tackle. Third best was a second round halfback. Gilbert Kreiner. 90 speed, 95 excel. Not bad. Things are going to get really, really weird from here on out. So let's talk about this. After signing a few studs in free agency and then drafting with all the capital we had, we're sitting at a 72 overall by far the worst team in the NFL. But we're just happy to be here. We're Australia, baby. All right, so here's the squad right now before the computer's going to like autofill me some players. I'm not at all upset about offensive line. They've got Connor Williams at left tackle where he's actually pretty good. Might just leave him there, dude. No, that doesn't even make sense. This is not accurate. I need to sim one game because then the computer's gonna do a little bit of magic for me. It should have just signed players for us because there's no way we could have played without a center. So the computer did some adjusting. Here's our offense. It grabbed us LaVisca Chenault uh, and then we signed Marco Wilson. That's really not that bad. So Garland's up here. Feldman should definitely be a starter. And then Alvarado. So this is actually pretty nice. A rookie Sergio Meeks at left tackle is a 65 overall, but at least he's a rookie. And then Kirksey, another rookie, a 67 overall over here. Cordell Wake's definitely going to have to carry this team. Cam Akers is a star. Marco Wilson, Gallimore, LaVisca Chenault. And then defensively, that is one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Oh my God. Why did I sign up for this? I like, I thought of this video idea myself and really wanted to do it. The fuck is this team? Ironically, we get Dennis Gardeck, who used to be an Arizona Cardinal. I think what would be a big waste is like an entire season without getting significant stats, right? I think we need to trade for a star young wide receiver because my tight end's gonna get good reps in Chiefs playbook. Quarterback's gonna get good reps. Cam Akers should get decent reps. But I don't have a wide receiver who is worthy of getting thrown the ball right now. We cannot waste an entire season. We need to go trade for a young wide receiver who could maybe be our franchise guy. You think we could get... Uh, do you think we could get Garrett Wilson off the Jets? Okay, they actually... You know what's funny? They desperately need a quarterback. We'll start out by giving them Ben Fife, whose tag is QB of the future slash future starter. And I'm going to offer a fourth round pick as well. This should definitely not be enough. Yeah, it's not even close. You never know. We're going to be horrible again this year. So my round one pick one is very valuable, but maybe I could part ways with round two. We're going to give up something serious if we want him. I really want my round one pick one here, but you know what? Maybe by 2027, we're actually winning games. I'm going to offer my round one in 2027. Let's take Michael Wilson out of there. So quarterback Ben Fife, my first rounder two years from now, and my second and third this upcoming year for Garrett Wilson. But I think it's so crucial that we do not waste any reps. Garrett Wilson, by the way, 89 overall, 24 years old. He looks so weird in a Black Knights uni, but I think that's going to be really, really good trade. So now our wide receiver core is actually not that bad. Garrett Wilson, LaVisca, Chanel, Marco Wilson. I wouldn't be too pissed about that. The rest of this shit I could be real mad about. This defense is atrocious, and there's honestly not anything I can do about it. Uh, I'm going to move Garrett Wilson to my slot wide receiver so he gets absolute maximum reps. I'm switching my offensive playbook to Kansas City. On defense, I'm going to run a base 3-4, and I'm actually going to try out Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Never ran it before. Uh, we're a 72 overall. I don't really have anything to lose. Switch my offensive scheme to vertical zone run and offensive playbook to Kansas City. I take that back. I'm going to try West Coast power run. It's not a good scheme fit, but whatever. I'm just going to sim to midseason, and I'm going to check in, make sure we didn't do anything wrong here, and see just how bad it is. If I even have one win, I will be kind of happy. We beat somebody in midseason. We got to look at the schedule. Who took a loss to my poverty-ass Australian team? Who was the, who was the Bears? The first team to lose to the Black Knights was the Chicago Bears. 28 to 22. I need to look at this box score. Cordell Wake had a fucking 350 bomb. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. Yeah. Cam Akers had 55 yards rushing. Michael Wilson had a monster game. Courtney Garland had a monster game. Garrett Wilson was all right. Six for 63. Damn, Michael Wilson getting his reps in. All right, one and five to start the season. Let's uh, let's close this out. Oh my God. We did better than Seattle. We are five and 12. Honestly, Madden is so stupid for this, but this is the power of Chiefs playbook. And that's so dumb. I mean, I'm excited about it because it's good news for Cordell Wake 
who had 4,400 passing yards. Wake, 4,400. 28 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. That's got to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. Cam Akers with 937 and 8. He had a fumble and 44 broken tackles. Honestly, a really good season for him. And Cordell Wake looked like he got kind of active with 77 carries. Receiving Garrett Wilson and Courtney Garland were insane. Courtney Garland, 1,207. Garrett Wilson, 1,207. Marco, Michael Wilson. So we, we distributed the wealth. And LaVisca Chanel even got five touchdowns. Who is our defensive guy? So this is kind of what I expected. Jerry Richard, 61 overall at the start of the season. Had 141 tackles. Six TFLs, a sack, an interception. That's shockingly good stats for how shitty he is. Our sack leader. Dude, there's a decent chance that's defensive rookie of the year. There's not an excellent chance, but there's a decent chance. Culver with... Five and a half sacks, 14 TFLs, 66 tackles. Nothing else, though. I guess three passes deflected. He had a safety. And honestly, I'm really impressed with the Black Knights in this first season. MVP's Mahomes, big shocker. Uh, we are technically in the NFC. So NFC Offensive Player of the Year, we're not going to be on that list. Defensive Player of the Year, we're not going to be on that list either. Offensive Rookie of the Year? Oh my fucking God, we had the top... But we, we had three guys in the top five. Michael Wilson's a rookie? How can you be a rookie in free agency? Oh, that's a bug. That's totally a bug. Michael Wilson is a sophomore this year. Regardless of that, oh my fucking God. Look at how many Black Knights are on there. I mean, it makes sense. All of our rookies are getting infinite reps. So Jerry Richard is going to get it? That guy was like the worst pick I made. 61 overall, and he's about to get a dev trade upgrade for Defensive Rookie of the Year. Culver comes in second. Trent Tucker is third. Garrett, okay. Somehow Garrett Williams is also being considered a rookie. This is so weird. Tyree Kidd got ninth. That guy was picked in the sixth round. Colts, Vikings, Anthony Richardson, Super Bowl MVP. Cordell Wake wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. Jerry Richard does not win Defensive Rookie of the Year. He might have won it for the NFC, but the actual Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to a D tackle from the Ravens, JC McKee. At this point, I should be able to see all my dev traits. Cordell Wake and Garland and Garland and Garland. Wait a minute. Was, was So was Cordell Wake a superstar X Factor? Or was this from Offensive Rookie of the Year? Offensive Rookie of the Year was just XP. Cordell Wake was literally a superstar X Factor from the draft. He's already a captain on this team. Uh, I'm actually going to give him some abilities. I think these do matter in Sim. People have been telling me they don't, but I don't believe you. I think they matter. Give him no look dead eye, inside dead eye. Give him sideline dead eye. And I'll give him safety valve for the catching from my tight end, baby. Well, Courtney Garland must have been superstar then because Courtney Garland didn't win any awards. So I don't see how he would have gotten a dev trade upgrade. Oh, I forgot about that. If you finish top 10 in your position category, you could get a dev trade upgrade. So Courtney Garland was actually star. He gets a dev trade increase in Super Bowl week, which must have come from just being one of the top receiving tight ends. He did. He had 1,200 yards and seven touchdowns. That's a really big season for a tight end. Uh, Alvarado is star. Feldman is star. I don't know why Feldman's not starting. He obviously should be. K-Makers really didn't do much that season, unfortunately. Garrett Wilson had a good season. He's up to a 92, so plus three on him. A Jerry Richard does not get a dev trade upgrade. But I will say this about Jerry Richard. Jerry Richard is a usable middle linebacker now. I mean, he already kind of was, but his, his stats are solid. He proved that he can play. I'm keeping Jerry Richard in. Marco Wilson. I don't know if Marco Wilson was already star, but he's certainly star now. In Super Bowl week, he got a dev trade increase. He got star dev. Yeah, he was... He was normal before this. Apologies, gentlemen. I muted my mic. Let me go over free agency. I've signed Amari Cooper so far, which is a shock because he really didn't want to play for us. Offered on Zanaria Smith. We'll see what he says. Free agency so far, though, has been solid. So we've got Amari Cooper. But mainly, we got some help on defense. Jerome Baker, Josh Metellus, Derek Forrest, Benjamin St. Just, and Puna Ford. The overall is climbing. Round one, pick four. I have two good options here. I either take Malcolm Green, who's a pretty obvious franchise left tackle, or I take James Green. No relation. On paper, he doesn't look as good, but he is a top five projected edge rusher. I do expect him to be hidden dev, and I really want an edge rusher. I think I'm going to take James Green. I'm okay on tackles right now. Cordell Wake had a good season without any crazy offensive line, so I'm going to take James Green, and I need you to be hidden dev, and you are... James Green's a power rusher with 81 speed, 81 excel, 87 strength. That's really good speed for a power rusher. Assuming he has A power moves, we'll have to see on his overall. He doesn't look like generational by any means, but should be all right. Now, we did trade away our second and third round picks. You know, I'm actually going to let the CPU do this. I'm going to let the CPU take over for rounds four, five, six, and seven. The only thing I was going to get there was either a tackle or an edge rusher. Draft recap. Ooh. 
Actually, you know what? Why am I saying that? 75 is five. 75 is great for left end. I don't know if he's going to be the best in the class, but he's hidden dev. He's a 75 overall, 81 speed, 81 excel. He's really not that bad. James Green. I think I think he could be our guy. Computer takes Cofield, Ronald Hawkins, Travis Bennett, and David Morrow. No way this is hidden dev, right? Normal dev on him. All right, boys. Season two. Here's your new look Black Knights. We are significantly higher overall. This is a very good free agency. Made some, some serious pickups just to get the overall up. I just want to win a few more games. Uh, offensive line looks great. Obviously, my right tackle could use some work. So a tackle draft pick wouldn't have been the worst idea there. I'm a little back and forth on this, but James Green, hidden dev. We did sign Zedarius Smith, Jerome Baker. We got Culver still, Puna Ford, and Vohashek. I really like how much better the secondary got. And then Garrett Wilson still slot wide receiver. My rush left end is Zedarius Smith. My rush right end is James Green. I should have significantly better pass rush. Or maybe, dude, maybe it's Cordell Wake. Maybe it's the power of having an X-Factor quarterback that's just that OP because we're already an 85 overall. I'm in the playoffs. This should not be happening. I'm actually mad. How did this happen? Hold up. I need to show you guys the schedule. Just so you can see, there are no force wins. This, this is literally just happening. Force win, none, all the way across the board. We lost to the Niners. Win, win, win. Loss, loss. Bye week. Win, 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 win. Loss, loss. Win, win. Loss, win, loss. And we're 10 and 7 in the playoffs now. You've got to be kidding me. I, I am excited. I don't, I don't want to downplay that I'm excited, but it's just like, it's unfair. That we just spawned in Australia. There's tarantulas in our cleats. And we're throwing 4,500 yards, 39 tutties, and five interceptions. Holy shit. Cam Akers, 975 and 11. Two fumbles, though. Cam Akers, let's get it together, buddy. Receiving Courtney Garland is our number one receiver and 10 touchdowns. Garrett Wilson, 1,212. Michael Wilson still involved. Amari Cooper, 755 and nine. It was nice to pick him up, but wow, he really didn't do much, huh? Nine touchdowns is, is not bad. I shouldn't say that. Defensively, look who leads the team once again. Jerry Richard with 141 tackles, five TFLs, one and a half sacks. Zadarius Smith got eight and a half. That's very impressive. Five for James Green, 10 TFLs, one pass deflection, and a blocked kick out of James Green. I don't know if that's a defensive rookie of the year numbers though for James Green. Those are good numbers, but they're not defensive rookie of the year numbers. Culver got two and a half. Ford got two and a half. Richard got one and a half. One thing that I don't understand, Jerry Richard has the second most tackles in the league. Ernest Jones is first. Jerry Richard is second. Leighton Van Der Esch is third. James Green's got an upgrade. He's a really high overall after one season. Nice work, James Green. Honestly, before this team gets insanely good, I want to play a little bit. We've got Courtney Garland, Cordell Wake, Garrett Wilson, Let's ball out. First and 10. Courtney Garland's got reach for it. Second win arm bar. Cordell Wake's got so many abilities. I want to, dude, I want to go to Courtney Garland. I want to hammer him, dude. I like this guy a lot. Ooh, I like this route. This is a classic Chiefs playbook route right here. That's a sketchy ball. That's a really sketchy ball. Oh my God. Cordell Wake's going to step up. Don't forget, hey, he may have 99 throw power, but he's still got legs too. Third and three, we're going to hand off Cami Akes. Ooh, good blocks, O-line. Look at Sal Alvarado out there. All right, Cam Akers, let's get you involved. Little slip screen to Cam Akers, that no-look dead eye. That's why you put on no-look dead eye. Courtney Garland wide open. Good juke. It's first and goal from the five. Who's going to put this in? Maybe the same thing? No, it's not open. Cordell Wake. Cordell Wake's going to walk this in. That was an aggressive showboat. The Melvin Black Knights. I'm going to sim the rest of this. I really don't have any guys on defense that are even worth usering. So let's just see how this goes. We put up another touchdown. Falcons put up a field goal. We're actually, we're literally going to go to the divisional, aren't we? 21, 28, 28, 16. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit. Fourth and four. We're up by five. The Falcons are going for it. This is the game. I mean, not quite, but what does Desmond Ritter do? Throws. Oh my God, Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter might have just sold the game, but not entirely because they have three timeouts. It's in a little RPO screen, but wow, that shit's blown up. Fake jet sweep, handoff to Akers. Third and six drops back. Lays. Cordell Wake, what are you doing? Ritter's going to drop back and throw. Caught Kyle Pitts. What do we got, Ritter? Oh, get through, Puna Ford. Get through, James Green. Third and two, it's a drop back pass. Caught. First and goal. Oh my God, this is brutal. Drops back. It's a slip screen. What a play call. Gotta give it to the Falcons. That was gutsy. 
No. Oh my god, it's a designed Desmond Ritter run. That shit was going nowhere. Jerry Richard! Cordell Wake unloads. Caught! Is that Garland? Hand that shit off. Hand that off to fucking Cam Akers. We got two timeouts. Great throw. Easy throw. Right over the middle. Oh my god. I think Riley Patterson's gonna come out and win this. Please just don't throw an interception. Good. Same throw. It's, it's an easy one. It's a chip shot. 38 yarder. Money! The Melvin Black Knights have a playoff win under their belt. Two years into the league. That should be a crime. Wakes 22 for 34. Two touchdowns. Two interceptions. Michael Wilson 63. We really spread the ball out though. The Bears are the only team that I beat when I was 1-16. And, and I am now playing the Bears in the divisional playoff. Let's stay hot, baby. 7-0. Dude, why are the Bears kind of good? 14-17. Dude, I've never seen the Bears be good in a sim ever. This is the weirdest franchise I've ever done. Why the fuck are they good? 28-24. All right, they have three timeouts left. If we get a few first downs, we end this game too. Dude, please don't let me win a Super Bowl in my second year. Wow, we love that check down, dude. I, I think... It I think Cordell Wake throws that check down like eight times a game. A little RPO pass down to, ooh, is that Garrett Wilson? Nice work. First and 10, timeout Bears. This is about over. Ball game, baby. Bears are out of time. Oh my God, Cordell Wake. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. I don't get this. This is the weirdest franchise I've ever done. I guess this is the Australia franchise. That's supposed to be normal. Courtney Garland gets an upgrade from that game too. Yeesh, look at this upgrade. Oh my God, he got so much. I love that. Love seeing that. Yeah, Garland's Garland's already becoming a monster, dude. He already got a speed upgrade too. Love that. If I face the Dallas Cowboys, I will lose. I got to face another team. <laughs> what do you fucking know? Are you, are you guys ready to see me get stomped? Like absolutely stomped? Dude, I'm telling you, man, it's all about these playbooks and Dallas Cowboys playbooks is very good too. So... This will actually be a good test of how good this team actually is because me beating the Bears means absolutely nothing to me. I don't care that the Bears made the playoffs. This will be a good test of like where we're at with this team. So if I lose by about 30 here, it ain't gonna feel good. 7-0 Cowboys, 7-7, 14-7, 17-7. We just got a fucking safety. We just got a safety, 16-20, to 19-20. 20s, oh my God, look at this game. 27 to 30, Cordell Wake. Dude, I do, I do think getting Cordell Wake did change things a lot, though. I mean, a round one pick, one quarterback, 81 overall superstar X Factor. We basically got our, like, you know, we got our Mahomes, our Joe Burrow, our Josh Allen. Second and three, down to Garrett Wilson. <sighs> Garrett Wilson, big, big catch. We're on the nine yard line. If we get in the end zone, I don't know. They have three timeouts, though. They got one deep safety. This looks like main coverage. It's not. Oh, it is man coverage. Laser. It's a touchdown, Garrett Wilson, but he stepped out of bounds. It's going to be illegal touching. Check down, check down, check down. Scramble. Do something. Third and goal. Cordell Wake. Getting that touchdown callback was massive because it's 30 to 30 now, and they've got a full drive. Cowboys only need a field goal. This is, like, very promising to put up 30. <gasps> Dak Prescott! Pick six in the NFC Championship to Marco Wilson. So, yeah, I guess it makes sense. We drafted properly for Kansas City Chiefs offense. Ooh, Dak drops back. No fucking way. Oh, he's going Hail Mary right now? True Hail Mary. He's going to go left side. Second and 10. That's in the end zone. It could be caught. We're going to the Super Bowl. Cordell Wake gets an upgrade. He's a 97 overall, I think, now. Yeah, he's a 97 overall strong arm. That has a big impact on this. I, I should acknowledge that having a 99 overall quarterback is a big impact. This guy was just born to play in Australia. Look who got defensive rookie of the year. James Green was fourth though, so I would have lost to Whitaker or Killian Bates anyway. Whatever, I went to the Super Bowl and I'm taking on the Ravens. That's what matters to me. Also, Super Bowl week is when you see dev trade upgrades. Garrett Wilson goes to superstar. He's a 99 overall. Courtney Garland is up to a 90. Offensive line's a myth perpetuated by the government, I guess. Jerry Richard finally got star. Let's go. You deserve it, buddy. James Green was star dev. Okay, so we didn't strike we didn't strike lightning there. Puna Ford gets star dev. And then uh, Marco Wilson's already been star. I was kind of hoping he'd get another one. Ravens score. Black Knights get three. Black Knights get another three. Ravens score again. Oh, did we finally meet our match? Shit, we got our asses handed to us. All right, we're not actually... This, the Cinderella story's over, boys. The Cinderella story's over. 34 to 6. We're getting dicked on by the Baltimore Ravens. Courtney Garland. Oh, get in there. Yes. Poverty touchdowns. I love it. Maybe we are frauds. Maybe that was just the craziest Cinderella, Cinderella run ever. Look at this. Ever since we made the Super Bowl, free agency has gotten a lot easier. People actually want to play for us. We can sign a monster left tackle 
Ronnie Stanley, and we could sign Tooney if we wanted to. But I think Stanley's the guy. If I can get him for two years, it'd be great. We've got the cap for it. I'll probably move him to right tackle. Um, it's a pretty strong offer considering he already wants to play for us. So is there anybody I really want in this free agency? I wouldn't hate Micah Hyde. We're kind of like, we're kind of contenders. So I wouldn't hate getting like a vet at this point. Cole Holcomb, no. Honestly, I don't think I need anything really in free agency. Oh, Nicobe Dean. I would love to sign Nicobe Dean. Nicobe Dean wants to play for us too. Um, I'm just going to go a neutral offer, but four years because I'd like to lock him up for a little bit longer. I'd love to have Nicobe Dean. Nicobe Dean signs to Atlanta. Shit. Damn, that would have been a nice signing. I guess I should have given him a better offer. All right, Ronnie Stanley does sign. It's honestly the only big signing we really need to make. Yeah, my current right tackle is George Briggs, a 71 overall. So putting Ronnie Stanley there at 94, significantly better. I don't know. There's no guarantee that we Cinderella our way back to the Super Bowl, though. So I'm still going to take this draft very seriously. I have all my picks in the 2026 draft, and that's this one. I don't have my first round next year. So it's important that I make some solid picks here. First time having a really late pick, though. Round one pick 31. I have an absolutely bizarre pick option here. His skills don't look great. And I usually, I mean, okay, I take that back. His skills look pretty solid. Nothing special. I usually don't draft running backs. But there was one time that I drafted a running back who had 99 speed, 99 acceleration, and he was so unbelievably good, it was unfair. I think I'm going to take him. Dwayne Hayes, you got to be hitting dev. <laughs> this guy, I, I'm going to be honest, I thought he would be 99 speed. He's still 97 speed. Acceleration's a little low. Hopefully we can get that up, but he's hitting dev 97 speed. I just got a monster halfback. Um, Loki wouldn't hit in a wide receiver. Ooh, look at this. Luke Hambrick. Great speed, great strength, elite jumping, great agility. Dude, you gotta be hidden, Dev, right? Amari Cooper's getting old. I don't even know if he's still on the squad. I'm gonna draft him. Damn. It's okay. You're you're honestly a beast, bro. 93 speed, 89 excel, 93 jumping. I think we'll find a spot for him on the team, but no hidden dev. I'm gonna skip to the end of this draft. I got my 97 speed hidden dev halfback. That's really what I was looking for here, so. I'm happy. Draft recap, baby. The moment of truth. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Dwayne Hayes is an 81 overall. Dude, usually those fast halfbacks aren't even that high of an overall. Okay, 90 acceleration is like bizarrely low for having 97 speed. But he's an 81 overall. So he's literally already better than Cam Akers. Dwayne Hayes has 99 juke. He's out of Michigan State, bro. You knew he's going to be a dog. 99 juke, 91 change direction, 90 agility, 91 excel, 97 speed. Freak. So Roth, this is what the computer picked up for me. Trevante Roth, 92 strength. Though, and honestly, I do need a D tackle. Puna, Puna Ford's been okay, but I'm happy to have him. And then Hambrick's a 73 overall, which is actually really high overall for being a normal dev. Uh, and then the rest of this was just a bunch of bums. We still have insane salary cap, so we can sign massive free agents next year too. So Cam Akers is an 86 overall. Love you, Cam Akers. It's, it's Dwayne Hayes season. This is the NFL, baby. We cycle in and out running backs like... Like nothing, man. Like chewing gum. I'm going to switch up my team scheme too. I think Kansas City Chiefs is just too good. Now, honestly, the next best is Dallas. So I'm not taking that big of a step down. But the reason I like Dallas is Dallas definitely uses their running back more than Kansas City does. Zone run West Coast scheme. So West Coast zone run is a horrible scheme fit for my team. But honestly, my team, my team has no scheme fits. I'm going to try this. Hopefully, this gets that rookie halfback more involved, Dwayne Hayes. And we'll probably see a little regression out of Courtney Garland. Most likely not a regression out of anyone else. But I, I think this will lend to my team better. I think Dwayne Hayes is going to be... I think Dwayne Hayes is going to be a monster. Okay. Well, the scheme. <laughs> Dude, I think we were just a Cinderella team. Last year was a fluke. That is quite the regression here. I mean, you can see that Dak was the number one passer in the league. Or the third passer in the league. So, obviously, Cowboys playbook is still good. Okay. Yeah, this is just officially the fucking weirdest franchise I've ever been in my whole life. Never in my life have I seen Mac Jones even in the top 10. He's number one with 5,000? What are you smoking? He's... What the fuck? What did I do, bro? Everything's wrong. Tony Webster is fourth. Mahomes is fifth. Fields is fucking sixth. I've never seen Fields out of the bottom five. Cordell Wait goes 32 for seven and 4,229. Did I have a good rushing season like I wanted? So Jacobs, damn. So it looks like Raiders playbook can get you some monster rushing yards with your boy. Um, Pacheco had 1,658 and 20. Maybe Chiefs was the move all along. Dwayne Hayes, 251 carries, 957 and eight. 
touchdowns. It's really a question of carries at this point. Garrett Wilson had 1,346 yards and 11 touchdowns. So he still had a really, really good season. Number one is Jerome Baker. Number two is Jerry. Love you, Jerry. Two interceptions, Jerome Baker. Really good season for him. Um, Sacks. Six out of Culver and 20 TFLs. Well, he's really been putting up good numbers. Ended up being a solid draft pick. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that James Green never sacked the quarterback? I must have messed something up in the depth chart. Dwayne Hayes is X Factor? Holy shit. I guess I shouldn't even be that shocked, bro. This guy has 97 speed. He's got 98 speed now. He's X Factor. He's going to be 99 soon. He got a plus one speed upgrade just this week. No way. So James Green was my rush right end that entire season. He never sacked a quarterback. After cut, getting five last season? I don't even know what to say. This shit is so weird. Here's the season recap. The Niners win the Super Bowl. Jags come in second. Offensive rookie of the year is Tremaine Rucker for the Giants. Defensive rookie of the year is Will Caldwell of the Browns. 122 million free agency coming off a 5 and 12 season after just making the Super Bowl. Jonathan Taylor is available. No, I like Dwayne Hayes. No reason to do that. But holy shit, there's two fucking monster wide receivers available. I think we do this, especially with like Cowboys playbook. You use both wide receivers. I think we grab a guard too. I think we take somebody like Petonio who shouldn't be too difficult to sign for just a one. I think we ball out for this year. Okay, so Rice does not want to play for us. I might go player friendly, up his bonus, up his salary. That's an aggressive offer for a guy who doesn't want to play here. I'm gonna grab Petonio. Hopefully get him for hopefully get him for a year. If we can get him for actually, if we can get him for two, I'd be happy. He's already kind of interested. I don't gotta up this too much. Isaiah Foskey's available in free agency. I like him. He's pretty young and he's a solid edge rusher. I'm gonna take him. Actually, I'm gonna try and get Tevin Jenkins as well. I'm gonna revamp these guards. Rice signs the Houston. Tyreek Hill signs the New Orleans. That's a huge bummer. That's okay. We got everybody else we wanted. I got all this cap space. I can't do shit with it. My my draft picks, so I don't have a first round, but my draft picks are a little more valuable now since I kind of sucked. So I have this early round two and a round three. And as far as my team concerned, we got Wake, we got Garrett Wilson, Garland, Stanley. I'm going to see if I can actually trade James Green and get a really dominant edge rusher. This year's second and third rounder, I already don't have a first rounder. So I'm basically just giving up on this year's draft. A fourth rounder and then a third rounder next year and James Green, we get superstar Kayvon Thibodeau. And I'm going to move Kayvon Thibodeau actually to a defensive lineman. I want him constantly pressuring the quarterback. That's all I want him to do. Here we go, boys. Headed into year four. That's four superstar X-Factors on offense. Cordell Wake, Dwayne Hayes, both from the draft. Garland, also from the draft. And then Garrett Wilson uh, has been an amazing wide receiver in the league. Amari Cooper's regressing. Michael Wilson's still been solid. He was one of our first ever Black Knights. So I want to get him a Super Bowl. Offensive line's looking incredible. Defensively, Culver, Richard, both star. Jerome Baker star. No wonder they're not getting to the quarterback because of my scheme. I need to change this. I don't want to be in a 3-4. I want to be in a 4-3. Let's switch to a base 4-3. Okay, we're switching my defense to a 4-3 with uh, Kyle Shanahan, San Fran. Culver, a true outside linebacker now. Cofield, the true outside linebacker. And Jerome Baker, Jerry Richards in the middle. I'm actually going to start Jerry Richard. Uh, Foskey, Roth, Hawkins, Thibodeau. And I got to make sure my specialists are correct here. Rush left end, Thibodeau. Rush right end, Foskey. This is fixed up to be a good season. We're at 88 overall. We've got superstar X-Factors finally. Uh, hopefully Thibodeau can have a really good season. Maybe get him to superstar X-Factor. But I'm just going to sim this to the midseason though. Because we went 5-12 and 12 last season. Didn't even make the playoffs after making the Super Bowl. So I just want to make sure that everything looks right. The year is 2027, baby. Looks like we figured it out, boys. We're five and two at midseason. We are very top heavy though. 93 offense, 84 defense. And there's a trade offer for Jerome Baker. What would you like to offer me for Jerome Baker? You could give me Puna Ford back, who I lost in free agency. I could get superstar wide receiver, 23 year old Mitch Richards. You want to give me a superstar? What, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I will take that. Seahawks just got fleas. Let's let's hey, let's get him up in the depth chart. Let's get this boy some reps, man. All right, so right now my second wide receiver is Wilson, then Amari Cooper, but no, nah, I'm getting Mitch Richards in the mix. I'm gonna take him out for Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, I love you, man. But time has come. We're setting up the rebuild for the future. Mitch Richards is a 5'9, 94 speed, 91 XL wide receiver. 
I can't believe they just traded me in. Five and two. We're on we're on a path to the playoffs. We're not guaranteed it, but let's see if we can make it right here in 2027. Hey, wild card playoff. What's the record though? 10 and 7. 10 and 7 once again. Looks like Dallas Cowboys playbook is a little more fair. How did we do? Cordell Wake. Cordell Wake leads the entire league. 41 touchdowns, six interceptions. Is that MVP? I feel like that might be an MVP season. Jonathan Taylor almost hit 2,000 yards. Black Knights looks like Dwayne Hayes, 1,313 touchdowns. Amazing season. Garrett Wilson, 1,719 fucking touchdowns. Are you kidding me? Amari Cooper was solid. Mitch Richards, we got him halfway through and he still was solid. 543 and two. Amari had seven. Courtney Garland had six. And defensively, Jerry Richards, 140 tackles, four TFLs, half a sack. Uh, seven for Foskey. Nice free agency pickup. Travante Roth had six. Thibodeau had five. I expected a little more out of Thibodeau. I expected him to lead my team, but I'm still happy with how he played. That might have been an MVP season for Cordell Wake. Let's find out. In-season awards, yearly awards. Number one, Cordell Wake. Australia has their first ever MVP. Can we please bring them their first ever Super Bowl? Oh, hell yeah. We made it through. All right. The 14 and three Atlanta Falcons. We beat them before. Our team is like just not ready defensively for this. But if we make it through this, I'll watch. I'll watch the NFC Championship. I'd be kind of shocked. Yeah, we lose 24 to 10 to the Falcons. I'm glad I didn't have to see that. I I'm so fine with that. We still have 80 mil in cap. Oh, uh, we're going to win MVP here. We really just need defensive help. There's nobody in my secondary who is even superstar. I have one superstar on my defense and I just traded for him. So this team's just not entirely ready, but we're close. And what do you know? It was actually the Falcons who win the Super Bowl. Desmond Ritter MVP, Cordell Wake MVP. All right, free agency, 68 million to work with. We're finally starting to run out of money in Australia. Our uh, billionaire oligarch is running low. There's a 96 speed halfback, Shaq Aldridge, an 87 overall right guard. I accidentally let Michael Wilson walk, so I'm just gonna re-sign him because I do like him. He needs to get a ring. It's a really good middle linebacker, Dennis Alexander out of Ohio State with 91 speed. I'm gonna pick up Dennis Alexander, this middle linebacker right here. Send him... He doesn't have a... Oh, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if I'm going to pick him up, but we're going to make him an offer. Demarcus Lawrence would be an insanely good pickup for one year. This... This is such a good free agency guy right here. Thibodeau on one side, Demarcus Lawrence on the other. Cater Kohu? I do need one more corner. Yeah, I'll try and give Cater Kohu just a small deal for one year. I wouldn't mind picking him up. Wow, we didn't get Demarcus Lawrence. Very successful free agency. Very successful free agency. Got Michael Wilson back. Got Dennis Alexander. Got Demarcus Lawrence. Benjamin St. Juice. Riley Patterson. Gator Code. Now for the NFL draft. I have round one pick 26. I kind of want to trade up and try and get a really, really good corner or safety. Aggressive pick swap here. First, second, second, fourth, fourth. But we're a really good team now. We're never going to have a high pick for the next three, four years. Uh, round one pick six. It's time to see if it pays off. This is who I'm looking for, though. I want Tony Parks. Are the Chargers going to take Tony Parks? It's Tony Stark's son. All right, we did all that trading to get this corner right here, Tony Parks. He's a top five corner. He's got great and so many physicals. His jumping and speed are actually the worst of his, which you you do want that as a corner. But overall, I think this guy is going to be a high overall and a high dev trait. 90 speed, 92 excel, 82 jumping, 90 agility, 93 change of direction. He's kind of small for a corner, but I've been looking for a superstar corner slash safety for a while. Tony Parks. Ooh, that's my boy. Holy shit, the computer got me a 72 in the fifth round. Oh, he's, he's normal dev. Never mind. Sergio Nichols. Then they got a Sheldon Spence and Floyd Nickerson. Who probably shouldn't say that out loud anymore. He's a 78 overall. This guy's an absolute beast. Tony Parks. All three of these corners were taken after my guy, and my guy was 78. I mean, whatever. It's a 78 overall still. But. All right, going into 2028. Here's your lineup. We got four superstar X-Factors on offense. Excellent offensive line, although we do need a different right tackle. I might move Feldman to right tackle here. Garrett Wilson, Richards, and Michael Wilson as my wide receivers. Thibodeau got superstar X-Factor? Damn. I, I honestly don't know how he went about getting that, but that's awesome. So we do have Demarcus Lawrence. We do have Foskey. I might even be able to let Thibodeau just play standard linebacker. Nah, he should still be the rush left end. That makes the most sense. Rush right end is Demarcus Lawrence, Roth. Parks. But I'm, I'm going to put Richards as my slot wide receiver. 
I'm gonna let him get some nice reps this season. And then uh, Dennis Alexander should be solid too. We're 90 overall. We used up a lot of her. We we really did use our salary cap though. I only have 13 mil available in salary cap right now. Jerry Richard has a trade offer. I'm not trading the boy Jerry. I don't care what you offer me. Jerry's my dog, bro. He started out at 61 overall. He's an 80 now. Dude, talk about a top heavy rebuild. We're nine and eight. Taking on the 10 and 7 Minnesota Vikings, we have a 99 offense and 87 defense. 4,437 and 3, a really good season for him. Dwayne Hayes, 1,415, his best season. What about receiving? Garrett Wilson, another awesome season. Mitch Richards, 1,011. Nice work, Mitch. Michael Wilson, 873 and 5. Courtney Garland has definitely taken a big step back. I think Chiefs' playbook was definitely better, but that's okay. Dennis Alexander, 123 tackles. Nice work, three TFLs. Tony Parks, oh my God. Why do you have so many tackles? You're a corner. Dude had 112 tackles, five TFLs, and a sack. Greg Bullock's had 102, one TFL, 0.5. Richard was 81, five, had an interception. What about sacks? Did we get home? Foskey had eight. This guy's a dog. Thibodeau had five, four and a half for D-Law, four and a half for Roth. Foskey continues to have the most sacks on my team. I wonder if that's because that position just goes the hardest. I don't know. Well, I'm only a little worried because we're nine and eight. Hey, can we make it past the 10 and 7 Vikings? Oh, shit. 31 to 28. We barely sniffed out the win, but we got it. Dude, I can't believe this franchise. I really can't believe this franchise. In our second season, we went to the Super Bowl. Then we go 5 and 12. Then we go 10 and 7 again. And now we smack. We're 9 and 8. We just smacked the Niners 41 to 20. And we're taking on Atlanta for the third time in the playoffs. Dude, I gotta play this though. I wanna use some of our players. Let's play the conference championship. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but I wanna get a drive in here and there. 93 overall, Cordell Wake, Garrett Wilson, Dwayne Hayes. They've got Bijan, AJ Terrell, Jesse Bates. Jerry, Jerry Richard. I'm so happy to be using Jerry Richard right now. All right, hey, first play is just one single yard. Oh, oh, I'm gonna throw at Jerry Richard. Cover four, get home! Cater Kohu, fourth and 18. Damn, nice stop defense. Mitch Richards is the primary. We got Garrett Wilson. We got Michael Wilson. We got Courtney Garland. We got Dwayne Haynes. I mean, he's just so fast. Dwayne Haynes, you can't catch him, right? Dwayne Haynes! <laughs> Courtney Garland's open on the boundary. Great throw. Cordell's gonna roll out. Can you hit that, Cordell? Yes, you can! What a ball! Perfect ball. I'm gonna get us, I'm gonna get us a little two-point conversion here. Dwayne Hayes. Hey, just give me a push. Just give me a push. Damn, pancaked everybody. Blitz off the edge got us. 6-0. Falcons score. The Australians get a field goal. Falcons get a field goal. We score a touchdown. 16-10. 19-10, 25-10, 25-17. And I think we're just chewing clock on him here. Second and nine. Just got to get a couple first downs here. Beautiful ball. That might have just ended the game. Looks like my team did sort of need me. Why did we score and how did they score? We should have been in victory formation. Battle of the quarterbacks. Ritter was great, but Cordell Wake was great too. Honestly, the difference maker here is Dwayne Hayes. Two touchdowns, 100 yards on 14 attempts. Big playoff W. We're headed to the Super Bowl, baby. Oh my God. What is this franchise? I'm taking on the 9-8 and eight Pittsburgh Steelers. We're both a 93 overall, but they're not built the same. Dude, Trevante Roth has gotten so good. Trevante Roth is up to an 89 overall, 90 with morale. He's a superstar, which I didn't even know. It's Super Bowl week, so we should see dev trade upgrades if there are any. Nothing on offense. Ooh, Parks, superstar. He'll be a beast for a long, long time. We really turned this defense around. Minka Fryermuth. George Pickens, TJ Watt, Joey Porter Jr., Jose Medina, middle linebacker, X-Factor. Highsmith, James Daniels, Najee. No, it's Kenny Pickett, but he's a 91 overall. 30-year-old Kenny Pickett. 93 versus 93. Taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Starting out on defense. Looks like it is. It's all. <laughs> Kenny fucking Pickett. You're an animal. Handoff Najee's gonna walk it up the middle. Oh, yes. Beautiful tackle, Dennis. Same shit, different day. Second and 11, right up the middle. Dennis! No, Najee picks me up. And a big catch, George Pickens. Throws right. Dude, George Pickens is a beast. Handoff Najee. Gotta go low on that, man. Second and nine. Can I guess the snap? I did. Somebody's gotta get home right. Oh, get there! Good breakup. Come on, we got Demarcus Lawrence and Thibodeau for a reason. We got to get to the quarterback. Get there! Cofield! 
Oh my god! He was auto-drafted by the CPU in the fifth round of our second or third year. And he just made a monster interception. Gonna hand this off to Dwayne Hayes. Get some solid blocks, but wow, that Steelers defense is fast. Third and seven, rolling out. Cordell, you gotta take this one! He dives! That's a first. Mm, I don't know about that, ref. Find it, find it, find it. Great block! Oh no! I didn't see 33. That was a great block on Minka. Garrett Wilson's got single coverage. I gotta test it. Garrett Wilson torches him. And we're into the end zone. The Melvin Black Knights just might get their first ring. 7-0. Steelers return with an instant touchdown. Steelers might get another one. 14-7. Black Knights score. Field goal. Oh my God. It's 14-17. We're in the fourth quarter. There's a minute 30 left. Cordell Wake. No, Cordell. Check it down. He's right there. Wake. Oh, there's a minute 20 and three timeouts. I don't know if I like this. I mean, I guess they have three timeouts, but I just feel like a run's not the... Yeah, it's not. Get home. Somebody get home. Check down. Out of bounds. Smart. Somebody's got to get home, right? Dude. Oh, fourth and inches. Fourth and inches and they're punting. No way. Dude, in the Super Bowl, you do not punt on fourth and inches. I guess if you got a lot of faith in your defense, but... Hits Michael Wilson for, oh, Dwayne Hayes. Cordell Wake checks over the middle. Garrett Wilson breaks the tackle. Please call a timeout. Please go for the field goal, right? Oh, my God. We're just going into overtime. You're going to end the Super Bowl fourth quarter with a timeout. Steelers win the coin toss. Sure like to receive. And Kenny Pickett just QB sneaked it into the end zone. So it's going to be up to us to respond. Oh, my. Second and four. Checks low. Too good not to throw it to him. Michael Wilson again. Oh my God. He loves Michael Wilson right now. Second and 10. I'm sad we're not. Oh, what a route. Is that Mitch Richards? God, this guy is so glad he got traded from Seattle. They thought he was worth a Jerome Baker. What a play. 24 to 24 this and we're going deeper into OT. Oh my goodness. You got to hit that though, right? Okay. Dude, we really can't stop him. They're kicking a field goal with no time left. That doesn't win. That's not the rules, is it? No way. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the really the NFL overtime rules? Wait a minute. So NFL OT rules. If you start with the ball, score a touchdown, and the opposing team scores a touchdown, you can just kick a field goal to win it? What? I just lost the Super Bowl on that shenanigans? I just lost the Super Bowl to Kenny Pickett? This is the most painful thing a man can see. Oh, both teams have the opportunity to possess the football. If the game is tied after each team's possession, the next score wins. Damn it. So we needed to go for two if we thought that they were going to get in range there. Cornell Wake, 18 for 30. Not his best game, but two touchdowns, no interceptions. Kenny Pickett did turn it over. I'm mad that we didn't go to Dwayne Hayes more. 102 for Garrett Wilson and a touchdown. Mitch Richards had his touchdown. Harland, three for 59. But honestly, a great Super Bowl. The battle of the nine and eight teams. All right, boys. I think that's going to conclude the Australian rebuild. We made it to the Super Bowl, had an awesome game. But I'll be honest, I don't think I could really, can't rebuild this team too much more. If I look at this team, I would say we have an aging offensive line. Stanley's going to be out of here pretty soon. Connor Williams is going to be out of here pretty soon. But Wake is our guy forever. Dwayne Hayes is our guy forever. Aaron Wilson is, I guess he's kind of getting there. But then we got Mitch Richards, who's amazing. Garland's going to be our guy for a long time. And then defensively, I think we could use some help on defense. Richard and Alexander are great. Roth is great. Foskey's great. Parks is amazing. Uh, Wilson and St. Juice are kind of getting there. And then Bullocks is really good too. So... I'm going to conclude the rebuild here with the 93 overall. Taking the loss to the Steelers. Congratulations, Pittsburgh. It was a great game. That's Australia in the books, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was an absolute blast to do. And uh, if there's any special rebuilds you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments. I I I'm happy to do them. And I love y'all. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys in the next video.